I want to do a slightly different kind of ride today. I'm going to actually take you into the city of Santa Barbara, the central part of the city. So rather than going to the outskirts, going down to the ocean and so forth and uh, up to the mission, I thought we'd actually do inside the city of Santa Barbara. So let's go for a ride. So here we are on State Street in Santa Barbara. Always a good place to begin. I love State Street. I like it because it's beautiful, it's colorful, I like the trees, I like the dedicated bike path, I like the fact that the drivers here are very respectful of cyclists. Even when the bike path is in the middle of the road, like it is right here, that's a right turn lane over to the right, you can just feel safe biking around. I'm going to skip up ahead to my right-hand turn. I believe this is Anna Pamu that I'm approaching. Wait for these people to cross the crosswalk. And it's a good thing I did because there's a police car. I don't know whether there's anyone in there or not, but um, I'm glad I was respectful. This road here does not have bike paths on it. And I'm going to be on roads that don't. But fortunately, I can feel somewhat safe. Now over there to the right, just beyond the trees, that's the Santa Barbara Courthouse. That is our destination. It's a beautiful courthouse. Library is to the right, courthouse to the left. It's been in movies, it's been in TV shows. We're going to go inside later on. But I wanted you to see the front of the building from this corner. Beautiful day, too. Not a cloud in the sky. My first goal is to find a place to park my bicycle, to lock up my bicycle. So I'm on my search. I'm to the other side of the courthouse. Entrance over there to the left. And then over here, bingo. Found my bike racks. There are the bike racks right there. I've got a place to lock up my bike. Okay, now I'm at the front of the courthouse. We're going to go up to that tower in a little bit. The clock tower. It's open to the public. Popular tourist destination. And the main entrance, main archway into the courthouse. This is what I wanted you to see. This is the mural room. This is a courtroom, but all the walls are painted with murals dedicated to the explorers who came here and converted the Indians over to Christians or whatever. Um, and I'm, I'm, I got here just in time because there was a wedding scheduled in here and I got in there and out of there before the wedding party came in. And this is up in that clock tower. Our Santa Ynez Mountains, the city... That building across the way there, that white building, that used to be the, the uh, county jail. There's a newer county jail. It still sells in there. And they may transfer prisoners from here over to the county jail. Down below is the Sunken Gardens, that platform over to the right. That's a performance platform that's used quite often, like during festivals, like during Fiesta each August. A view from another part of the tower... Over to the left was the Granada Theater in the Arlington. Again, the mountains, the Santa Ynez Mountains. City of Santa Barbara, beautiful city. A lot of these tile roofs. I'll show you the tile roofs. The whole city is designed this way. Down below you can see the limousines from that um, wedding party. Library over there to the left. I'm going to take you through the, the um, tower just so you can see what it looks like from the inside. And then we're going to look at the city toward the south side. This is the ocean out there. And you can just barely see on the horizon a um, ocean liner out there. They occasionally stop at the city, and I think they have launches that take people ashore. Again, to look at the tile roofs here. A 
we're going to go into that tower in a little bit and there's that performance platform and then finally this is the west side parking garage down below and that was my favorite garage for a while I could always find parking space in there and then to the right coming around that's the Santa Barbara Public Library Arlington Theater and Granada Theater over there in the distance this is the clock room, the clock works for the clock outside. The murals are dedicated to the um, discoveries of time or passage of time, inventions having to do with time, various clocks and so forth. Big Ben over there to the, to the right, pocket watch. Various people who were important. I think Sir Isaac Newton is mentioned on the wall over there. Now here we're in that round tower I told you about. And this is what amazed me the first time I saw the, the courthouse. When you're inside, you're still outside. I'm starting from an inside hallway going down the stairs in this tower. There are no doors, no windows. It's open to the elements outside. So when it's cold outside, it's cold inside. But then this is Southern California. It never gets too cold. This is the sunken garden area, that performance area, that performance platform over there to the right. The old county jail over there. Beautiful landscaping here. I'm sure they'll be doing wedding photos out here. And now I'm on Santa Barbara Street, heading northward. These are the parks that I've been looking for. It's a rather large park area. It takes up three city blocks. And look at the pavement. No bike lanes here. So you just kind of weave your way carefully in amongst the cars. What can I say? They're respectful. People don't lose their temper and honk their horns trying to get you out of the way. Not all of Santa Barbara has dedicated bike lanes, but many of the streets do. This person over here, unsurprising, is riding on the sidewalks. Even though that's illegal, it's probably the safer place to ride. And then over here to the right is the entranceway into the park. I'm going into Alice Keck Park because there's a pond inside there that I really like. And the pond is over there, kind of, well, it's actually in front, but there you begin to see the pond. This pond, when it's properly populated, is full of koi and turtles. Today there happen to be more ducks than turtles, and I didn't see any koi. There's a sign right there that says that when the water stabilizes, the koi and the turtles will be out in numbers. I don't know what they're looking for as far as stabilization, but... This day there happened to be no koi and a few turtles. I got a few turtles. There's that sign. And the ducks here are totally unafraid of people. You can kind of just walk in amongst them. They're so used to being around a lot of people that they just, they don't really care. Beautifully landscaped park. Popular on weekends. Okay, I've gone across onto that little island. Down below, I'm just beginning to see a couple of turtles. You'll see them if you follow that duck. There's the turtles right near the duck. Two turtles, one chasing another. Probably a male chasing a female. Sometimes there's hundreds of turtles in the water. I guess we just have to wait for the water to stabilize. And there's also signs saying, please don't feed the animals. You can see the ducks just don't care. And then over here, again, I caught two turtles. One is on the rock, sunning itself, warming in the sun. And that other turtle is trying to get onto that rock. Okay, and then from here, I just headed back. And that's the end of this tour. 
So there it is, a nice little ride in the city. The point of this ride being that sometimes you don't have to go long distances to find beautiful places to video. You can get on your bike and just go into town and enjoy some of the parts of the town that are fun and interesting to look at. So hopefully you enjoyed this ride. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please click the like button. That helps me out. And um, forward the video to others if you think they might enjoy it. And thanks for listening.